What's going on my dudes? It's DJ from DJ Custom Baits back with another quick tips video. Today we're going to be talking about the best airbrush setup for beginners. By no means are my opinions always the right opinions. This is just from my experience what I think would be the best value for your hard earned money if you want to start airbrushing. Now, going into that, I think airbrushing is like anything else, whether it's painting baits or painting whatever. If you go into it thinking, I'm gonna make a butt ton of money and paint baits, it's not gonna happen. You have to start because you enjoy doing it and then the money comes eventually. Same thing with anything else. But going into it, first thing would be the thing, I, the brush, the airbrush I think is the best for your money. Now it's by no means a cheap brush, but I would recommend the Iwata HPCS. Now I'm not sponsored by Iwata or anybody for that matter, but I've owned probably close to 20 different airbrushes since I've started painting baits. Um, I have a Iwata Revolution right here that I don't touch. I've owned the Badger 105 Patriot, which is 78 bucks. I've owned the Got Hobby Dual Action Airbrush, which is 15 to 20 bucks, depending on which one you get. I've owned the Master Airbrush. I've owned the Revolution, like I said, and I currently run three Iwata HPCSs because they work great. These cost 148.90 on Amazon. It's the cheapest you can get it. These run, the Revolutions run for 100 bucks out the door and I won't even use this for, for spraying anything because compared to this, it's not even comparable. This is like night and day for painting. And airbrushing is one of those things where if you know what you want to do, you know what you want to paint and you can't do it because your equipment won't operate properly, you're just gonna get pissed off and not enjoy it at all. So I'd recommend going with this right off the bat. Save the money and get the Iwata HPCS. It paints amazing, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Detail, base coats, you can do everything with this and it just works. They're just workhorses. Like I said, I own three of these and I love every one of them. Next thing would be the airbrush compressor. I own multiple compressors. I have this one, 0, .0 oilless air compressor. Junk, I won't use it and I'll tell you why in a second. I have this one, which is the Zenny Pro airbrush compressor. This runs 70 bucks on Amazon. That runs about the same. I think it was 50 on Amazon. And then currently I run a large 21 gallon air compressor because I paint so many baits at one time. The Zenny is what I would recommend for anybody starting airbrushing. It's like I said, it's 70 bucks on Amazon. Big thing I like about it compared to the other one or most airbrush compressors that they sell on Amazon is it has a tank so it holds air as well as having the compressor so you're not having fluctuating air if you've ever painted any detail and when you're spraying if your pressure drops or fluctuates it's going to mess it up because you're diluting your paint to spray at a certain air pressure and when it drops it's going to spray differently than it did before that compressor does not allow it to drop if you're painting 100 baits in a day's time i wouldn't i mean it does work i did it for a long time it gets hot and creates moisture that's what you would need these guys for moisture traps. You can get these on Amazon for eight bucks and they're a lifesaver. They catch any moisture running through your lines, especially if you're running a smaller airbrush compressor and painting more than one bait at a time, you're gonna build a moisture in your compressor and those things will catch it and save you from going and splurting out all over your bait. Get you one of those for sure. I run a water trap off of my compressor um, right here where my lines are all connected to. I run one and then I have one on every single line just to be sure that I don't get any moisture coming through my lines. And before I moved up to this big one, I was running that Zenny small one from Amazon and I was running three as well and I would still get moisture coming through if I was painting non-stop with three guns. It just run and run and run. Nice thing about that Zenny is it is quiet, not super expensive and it works great, especially if you just want to start out airbrushing and learn. But like I said, I did paint baits for a living, even using that. Just recently bumped up to the bigger one. If you have a big air compressor, I'd say you just use that. Just put the air traps on it and it's worth it. It works better. The only downside of that is the noise of the compressor. Really, that thing you can paint in the living room with your wife sleeping and she wouldn't even hear the compressor going off. Lastly, I would say 
What you should get for paints and reducers if you're starting out is go with some Wicked paints. They spray really nicely. You can get a sampler pack of Wicked paints, which is eight different colors for eight or for thirty-one dollars off of Amazon. And then get yourself some 4012 Auto Auto Air Colors Createx Reducer off of Amazon too. They sell a Wicked reducer, but honestly, I've used it and I like the 4012 better. I can reduce any paint with that reducer, and it sprays beautifully. I uh, used the Wicked Reducer one time and threw it away. It's trash. But you can get one of these for 14 bucks for 8 ounces of it. And a normal person, this will last a long time. You can pay 100 baits with this if you reduce it um, conservatively and don't waste your reducer. Alright boys, so to sum things up real quick. Airbrush, Iwata HPCS. 148 on Amazon. Best bang for your buck. You're going to enjoy painting. Your results are going to show that. You buy any of these cheaper ones that are, I'd say, anything under $100, you're throwing your money in the trash. You might as well not even buy it. Zenny Pro, 80 bucks, 70 to 80 bucks, depending on where you find it. Great compressor. You won't be upset with that purchase by any means. It does a great job. I've painted 100 baits in a day's time with it, and you can paint one bait at a time. It don't matter. It works great, and it, I've probably painted close to 1,500 baits, if not more, with that compressor, and she's still going, working like champion. Next would be the, the Createx Wicked Colors. Look them up on Amazon, 31 bucks for eight of them. Great purchase, they all spray amazing and work really great. The 401 2 Auto Colors Createx Reducer, find that on Amazon. Works great, worth every penny. I've been using it for years and I won't use anything else. Lastly would be the Moisture Traps, you should put one on your compressor, they look like this. This jobby here, big guy. It allows you to change the pressure you want coming out. It's got a gauge right here. Also, release the moisture and blow it out. The Iwata HPCS, I believe, actually comes with a few different colors in the paint brush kit, as well as the airline, so you don't need to worry about buying an airline. And then these guys, eight bucks a piece and worth every penny. I should probably have a bunch more because they're not made amazingly for eight bucks. You can buy one for 30 bucks. It's probably gonna be a lot better quality. I have broke one or two of those over the years, the $8 ones, cheap ones, but they do their job as far as catching your moisture. So all in all, it's like $280 total. Not a little bit of money by any means, but the quality of your work is going to show and it's gonna, you're gonna enjoy painting. Like I said, this Iwata Revolution, 100 bucks versus the HPCS for 140. I won't even touch this. I have three of those and I've bought them over the last six months so I could have three of them because spraying with this, it would just ruin the paint job that I was doing. I wouldn't use anything else but this. Now I know a lot of people say you can use the um, airbrushes that suck up from the bottom. I like the gravity feed personally, but that's more of a preference than a need. So do what you like there. But I think you'll be happy with that setup and you'll enjoy painting. So if you did enjoy the video, boys, please slap that like button. Subscribe if you're not. More videos coming soon and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, and if you guys don't subscribe and like this video, you'll be cursed with eight months with no fish. Subscribe, like it, stay tuned. See you boys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.